What is up you guys? It's Katya Books. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another supplement review and quite an exciting one, at least for me, because when I saw this flavor was going to be released, I had to get my hands on it right away. And luckily, even with the virus going on, the shipping was so quick. So I was super stoked that it came to me. So I knew I had to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible because yes, Live Body came out with another vegan protein. I feel like they're just coming out with new, continually coming out with new flavors and amazing flavors and flavors that I've never seen before because this one all we have here is Frosted Oatmeal Cookie. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't think of anything that might sound better than that. Like, honestly, their last cookie flavor was delicious. And then prior to that, like the birthday cake, or not the birthday cake, the cinnamon coffee cake and fruit, like, uh, like if you guys ask me to rate, you know, my favorite to least, the thing is there's not like a least favorite because usually I'll give like a least favorite to one that I wouldn't order again, but all of their flavors I've ordered more than once. So that says something. So you know what? I have quite high expectations for this one and I'm pretty sure it's gonna meet that because once again, the amazing thing about this protein, it's naturally sweetened. So there's no artificial sweeteners, unlike the ghost protein it was that their flavors are pretty good but they have the artificial sweeteners and you can taste it plus with a protein like that it's just super simple and with this one you get the full greens blend and you have your whole amino profile everything like ugh, no grittiness and no weird aftertaste like you might get from vega now i love vega i'm not hating on it but i know many many people don't just due to the fact that there is a little more of this grittiness that is known to be typical for plant-based proteins whereas with live body and sun warrior they're just like smooth like butter so i am going to quickly read the macros to you guys and then we're going to mix up a scoop of this because i just finished a leg workout here in mikasa so i gotta fuel my muscles so yeah anyways it's got for the one serving of a scoop, uh, 140 calories, two fats, five carb, 24 protein. And like I said, you've got your whole greens blend, all organic stuff from alfalfa grass powder, wheatgrass powder, barley grass powder. I mean, spirulina, I love spirulina. That stuff is so good for you. Plus it's got the added digestive enzymes, like, there's nothing better than this, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this into my sugar cup because I'm way too excited to try this, so yeah. All right, so mixed within seconds as usual. It smelled so good just opening it up that, oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, that smells like a cookie, like a cookie. Uh, like a cookie. Mm. I don't. I. I just don't know how they create these flavors. Honestly, it's mind blowing, and the fact that they're able to accomplish this without artificial sweeteners is like. I, I, I can't even, <laughs> but anyways, like that is just so good. I, mm. it's, it's just crazy because if you're asking me how to describe it, it just straight up tastes like an oatmeal cookie. It's so smooth with water. Like oh. my favorite thing about this flavor, the cinnamon cookie and the cinnamon coffee cake is they're also just so good warmed up. So my favorite thing to do with those flavors are adding them in oatmeal, 
like my morning oats. Um, I mean, I'm currently quite low carb on my normal dates. So I haven't done that in a while, but on my refeeds, I love, love doing that. But otherwise, all of their flavors taste amazing, either as just with water or with my oatmeal. The only flavor that I don't care to do my protein ice cream with is the Fruit Loops, just because I don't find Fruit Loop to be a flavor for ice cream. I just associate that more with like breakfasty, even though, you know, if you serve a bowl of Fruit Loops is with cold milk. But, it, not talking about those flavors, talking about this flavor, like, oh my gosh, I just, it's crazy how, how much flavor there is to their protein without being, like I said, overwhelming, any crazy sweetness to it, no artificial sweetness you taste in it, because I think, let me see. I think it's just the monk fruit that they use as a sweetener. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else. Like, it doesn't say if they use stevia or something like that. But I'm just, it, so what's really nice about that is because sometimes if there are ones that are sweet with stevia, you can kind of taste it if too much stevia is added. And then of course with artificial sweeteners, it just tastes fakey even if it tastes good. And what I've noticed with other all natural flavored proteins is maybe there's little to no flavor, kind of like the blessed protein, which I'm thinking of trying their new strawberry milk one. So if you guys want me to give that a try, let me know in the comment section below. And I'm happy to go purchase a tub of it and try it for you guys. Um, but from what I just remember of their other flavors, they're really not like mind blowing. Um, I do hope that Live Body can come out with a strawberry. Um, yeah, I'm not like an athlete for them. I'm affiliated, but it, if I could become an athlete for them, that would be amazing because holy cannoli, this is, I mean, either Sun Warrior or Live Body because those are just currently my most favorite. And I've tried so many brands. If you've been following me for since I've begun, I've tried so, so many different proteins, even from before being vegan, like, numerous and these two brands so far have just become my most favorite my always go back to that I fall back on and that's why I reached out to them and became affiliates for those brands so it just supports me if you're able to use my coupon code and plus it just saves you money and so I'm always gonna give you my honest review because like if live body came out with a protein that I didn't care for or I mean a flavor I didn't care for I'd straight up tell you guys and I'd just be like Go get the vanilla, not the chocolate, or vice versa. But I like 100% stand by their products and it's just, they're so wholesome. They're so good. So please give it a try. Let me know if you do give it a try and comment down below what you think of it. I wanna know if you guys like it as well because I am just only one person given my subjective view of it. So let me know. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a nice big thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel. Comment below anything. You can just say hello. I'd love to say hello back to you. But like I said, if you know any other proteins or pre-workouts you want me to try, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, next video, we do have a baking video. Yes, we are gonna be making something delicious. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.